Warren and Hoover, and this episode we will focus on the SBAC math test taking strategies. And to give us some math test tips, here is Maria. Maria. I'm here to give you some math test taking tips. Number one, read the so question try carefully. Try to take note of the keywords or numbers in the question. Try to solve the problem on your own before looking at the answer. Show all your work. Make sure you include all the information needed. Check and recheck your test when you finish. Just a few helpful tips for your smarter balance test. Good luck. This is Maria and may the fourth wants to know you. how you get ready for SBAC test. So we went out to ask you. Here's Aaliyah for for that part. Good afternoon, Hoover Hornets. I'm Maria and today we are going to be asking students how they get ready for the SBAC test name and how do you get ready for the SBAC test? My name is Monica and how I get ready is I sleep, eat a good breakfast, and eat a good dinner. Thank you. You're welcome. Name and how do you get ready for SBAC testing? I'm Julian Williams. I get ready for SBAC testing by having a good night's sleep. Tell me your name and how do you get ready for SBAC testing? My name is Eric Connell. Um, I wake up early, get ready to school. Um, I go to school, I eat good food like tamales, galletas, and then I do the test, yo. You know what I mean, chica? Now for Hoover's GG update. Our overall GG score is 61%, with 412 students participating. So far, Ms. Swenson's first grade students are in the lead with 81%. The computer lab opens every day at 7.30 in the morning, so head on down there in the morning and score some GG points. Our guest interview of this week is Ms. Gonzalez. Ms. Gonzalez is one of our fourth and fifth grade teachers. Here's Ronaldo with that interview. <coughs> How are you today? I'm doing great. A little tired after testing, but overall, having a fabulous day. Okay, now I'm going to ask you nine questions. Would you like to hear them? Yes. Okay. Question number one. What do you enjoy most about teaching? I think that what I enjoy most about teaching, besides working with kids, is being able to um, build a relationship with my students. Okay. Question number two, when did you decide to become a teacher and why? Mm, I don't think I really decided to be a teacher. It wasn't probably until I was older and my kids were already in school and I didn't have really much anything to do at home so I started volunteering, volunteering in my kids' classrooms and I realized that, you know what, I could do this. And question number three, what is your favorite fruit? My favorite food, I love chicken enchiladas, but they have to be made with homemade chile rojo. Have you ever flown in an, in, as an airplane? How was it like? I have flown in an airplane uh, many times. I really enjoyed it, but when the flights are a little bit lengthier in time, um, it could be a little bit uncomfortable. If you were to be given superpowers, what, what would you choose and why? I think I would love to have the power to heal people and the reason to heal people is because we have a lot of people that are sick and there's a lot of illnesses and I think that if I had the power to heal people that would be the power I'd want. If you want to become anything else than a teacher what would it be? I think I would love to be a tour guide because mm -hmm. that way I could go ahead and travel to different places and so forth and learn so much about all the beautiful places that I'm missing out on. Okay. Question number seven, what kind of sea creature would you prefer to be? I think I would want to be an octopus. The only reason why is because I'd be able to have so many arms to be able to do so many things that I sometimes I don't have time to do. If you were president, what is one thing you would want to do and why? I think that I would like to create a family holiday where nobody worked 
and everybody would be able to spend time at home with their family and their loved ones because we don't have enough of that time. Mm, okay. And the final question, do you or any anyone in your family into video is into video games? I'm going to be very, very <coughs> honest. When I was growing up, my parents did not believe in video <coughs> games and we didn't have the money to play video games. So yeah. I kind of raised my kids in the same way. And in reality, no, my kids really do not play video games. Would you like to say anything else to the students? Yes. Positive words. Surround yourself with positive people that, that encourage you to be better people. Thanks for the interview. I'll see thank you next you time. Thank you so much for your time. Great interview, Ronaldo, and thank you, Ms. Gonzalez, for your time. Next week, we will have another awesome guest for you. And now, here's Max to give us our quote of the week. Good morning, Hoover Elementary. I am Max to give you our quote of the week. The function of education is to think, one, to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. This quote comes to you from the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. This is Max. Goodbye for now. Thanks, Max. This has been our episode for this week. Thanks to our reporters, Maria, Ronaldo, Max, and Aaliyah. Kimberly, our virtual engineer. Andrea B., our sound, our sound engineer. Oswaldo, our editor. And Melanie, Leslie, and Rachel, our directors. I am Monica. And I am Caitlin. Always be respectful, responsible, and cooperative Hoover, Hoover Hornets. See you next time. It's that's all right. <laughs>